Hey guys, uh, so obviously I don't video blog very often. This is a special occasion, I guess. I got a new camera a while back and it's fantastic and I love it, so I just thought I'd test out the video fu function in some low light and also answer a question at the same time that I've been getting a lot of. And the question is, um, why have you been swearing so much in your blog posts lately? Wah, wah. Sorry if I have offended you. I don't mean to. Um, Matt Storley actually asked me that again today, and he's a friend of mine, uh, MD Storley on Twitter. And, uh, you know, it just got me thinking, I should probably explain that a little bit. So here's, here's my excuse. One, I am a potty mouth, and I will admit that. And, yeah, I'm not proud of it, but... It happens, you know, what do you do? So, I, I, I blame you, it's probably from hanging out with all of you because you're such bad influences, right? I, that's what I think anyway. Um, two, you know, I, I wanna speak to the average person and I think a lot of people out there do swear, unfortunately. And, you know, when I talk about puking rainbows all the time, which is a little bit of my motto, and some of you might not know what that means. Uh, a lot of times I say, when life gives you rain, puke a rainbow. And it just makes, you know, it means make something out of crap. So that's also kind of a sarcastic brand that I have. And, and I think that sarcasm speaks well to a lot of people, because most of us can understand it at least, um, if you have half a brain in your head. Anyway, uh, so, oh, sorry, harsh. Anyway, uh, I think that a lot of people that I want to speak to about the things that I talk to talk about in my blog post, which in essence are conscious minded thought and present minded thinking and um, you know just just being positive in general. You know, I think there's a lot of people out there that seek that information, but there's also a lot of people that need it that don't seek seek it. You know, they're not looking for the posts from Wayne Dyer and Eckhart Tolle and those geniuses out there that are really great teachers, but a little bit lofty if we want to be honest with how they're speaking and the average person gets a little frustrated when they're trying to figure out all the terms that they're using and whatnot so just trying to bring it down to um, normal conversational stuff and I think you know for example if there's a post out there that's like um, exploring conscious thought in a, through an egoic environment you know, another way to say that would also be <laughs> how to stay sane when things effing suck. And I think that the average person is going to know what that means as opposed to the other ones. So, um, you know, there's a lot of people out there that need inspiration and positive thought in their life that aren't necessarily seeking out the new age, super zen, hippie posts. And hopefully I can be a little bit of a bridge in that gap and help some people along the way as I as I blog about today it's also helping myself because I need reminders day after day after day so um, it's uh, really good to talk to you and I hope that you have an amazing day and um, how about this for a challenge give the next person you see a compliment and see how it turns around your day actually too because they'll be surprised and you know make sure it's appropriate be careful at work Harassment policies. Not good. Okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Hey, Twitter. <laughs> Say I, um, screwed up.